The world's longest running comedy music concert series is coming from inside your house. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that went to a dark place. <laughs> Virtual MarsCon 2021 is taking place online for free on March 12th, 13th, and 14th. Hi, MarsCon. <laughs> This year's event will have live stream performances by The Great Luke Ski, Devo Spice, Worm Quartet, Insane Ian, TV's Kyle and Lindzilla, Il Nage, Beth Kinderman, Tom Smith, Throwing Toasters, Amy Engelhart, an AMA interview with Ookla the Mop, and this year's music guest of honor, Robbie Ellis. We'll also be doing a virtual Q&A with the man who has been playing drums in Weird Al Yankovic's band for over 40 years, John Bermuda Schwartz. Drum solo! For info on how to watch, go to MarsCon.com. And for info on the comedy music track, go to MarsConComedy.com. And uh, do watch out for flying lobsters. Thanks for listening, funny music fans. And I hope to see you all at Virtual MarsCon 2021. Greetings, Internet, and welcome once again to another Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan. And this week, I am reacting to the brand new Hitman 3 song by the Stupendium, Featuring Nem Raps, called The Apex. We reacted to the second a few weeks ago. I am very excited for this because I do love the Hitman games. And we are also reacting to the Why Did I Say Okie Dokie original video. Because I didn't realize that when the orchestral mix popped up in my feed, that that was the only version that wasn't really comedy. It was the one that, that popped up in my feed after watching so many Stupendium songs. It was like, here, let's suggest a bunch more Stupendium songs. And I'm like, I'll add all of these to my watch later list. And the only version of Why Did I Say Okie Dokie was the orchestral mix. And I had no idea until after I had already done the video that that was the only one that wasn't really funny. So, whoops. You get a bonus thing of me reacting to something kind of new because technically the version I saw was so different I can react to it again and still give that first the impression reaction. So anyway, before we get started, please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff to help feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs on this stuff. And if you really want to help out the channel, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where we have polls occasionally to vote on what song I'm reacting to next, as well as check out all the videos early. Uh, this video won't be coming out until the Friday after the song is released, but my Patreon supporters got to see it a day or two after the original video came out. Uh, also, I release brand new songs on my Patreon every month, and your support helps me make new music as well as make these videos, getting to see these videos early, my music videos, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of wonderful rewards for you wonderful supporters, and if you are supporting me, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let's get into this Apex uh, song by The Stupendium featuring Nem Raps, another nerdcore performer. Uh, I know Nem Raps uh, through, through Nerd Out and the stuff he does online. Some people probably know him as the guy who went to see Avengers Infinity War like 103 times or something like that. He saw it 100 sometimes in theaters. So a good portion of the billion dollars that that movie came, made came from him. This is not a joke. That is legit what he did. He saw it over 100 times in theaters. That's hardcore. Mad props. So anyway, let's get into this. Hopefully we're not going to have any audio or video problems with the video. I don't know about it until I'm done filming anyway. So sorry if you get some audio glitches. Just there's nothing I can do about it because it it's just the way that it happens when I record and I don't find out until after. And by that point, it's too late to do anything about it. Just the nature of technology. It loves me. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started now. And I feel like this one might not be as funny as his other videos because the previous Hitman song wasn't really. But that said, you can still do funny things in the games. So it it has that basis for humor. Five, six, 
Okay, already he's doing kind of a kind of a, a verbal flip, almost sort of a pun, because he, he's saying, I see a shadow in the corner, I see a figure on the wall, I see a, but the organization that 47 and his handler Diana work for is the ICA. So there's that in there already. And uh, yeah, so uh, getting the clever flips already into the first line of the song. We expect nothing less. I dig it. It'll fall to the ICA. Ooh. Here at the summit, the pendulum swings. Cause like any puppet, the world's on a string. Ooh. Those are some dope lines. Those are those are really good. And also you gotta admire the swag of him dressed as 47, that, that impeccable suit. Uh, he said in the previous song his the his bespoke outfit while he murders you. That's that's quality. It's good stuff. That's what I love about the Hitman games. And also, you can disguise yourself as anybody in those games, so you don't know what's coming at you, but you start out like that. And, you know, there's also, in the game, achievements for, for like, in-game achievements, not, like, trophies or anything, but, like, in-game achievements where, like, if you complete the mission only in that 47 suit, you get different rewards and stuff. The games are based on replay. It's great. It's a book love with the globe on a thread Just one man can cut it, can plumb it The web it is set on the back of the eyes of the dead Is a terror in black with a tie burning red With the blood that was spilled in a chilling Who done it, your cupboards are filled There's no pinning <laughs> I know that's from the trailer But the different weapons changing Because uh, you can use anything as a weapon That you can pick up To hit the guard in the face with and uh, that's that's one of the the cool things about the games is like the interchangeability. You can play the level any way. You can follow the story missions or go off on your own to kind of figure out how you're going to eliminate your targets and everything. And that's that's what I talk about. Well, that's what I mean when I talk about there's there's humor you can inject in the game, despite the game being so overly serious. There are moments of levity that can be player created in the game. In, in the Miami mission in a, in a previous game, you can dress up as a giant flamingo mascot. That's great, to just go around murdering people as a giant flamingo mascot. That's great. Uh, you, uh, there, there's, there's runs that people have done online where they've knocked out everyone in the level with a fish. Because you can have a fish as a weapon. And it, it's not a lethal weapon, it's not going to kill people. But there's something so funny about watching 47 walk around and just beating everyone with a fish. I want to do that in VR. In Hitman 3, you can play the whole game and also the previous games, because that's the way the Hitman games work. If you have, if you own the previous games, you can play them in the new game, the, all those previous levels. Uh, I would want to play that in, in PlayStation VR, just beating everybody to death with fish. It's great. Or not to death, but knocking them out with fish. Somebody, because the internet is full of people, somebody online killed everyone in the one map with the Grape Crusher in the winery. Just loaded every single NPC in the level into the Grape Crusher and killed every NPC. In that's, that's a glorious waste of time. It's a, uh, wonderful do that. Yeah, that's that's the kind of freedom you have in these games. You can just, if you're careful enough, just kill every NPC in the game in one level in the same device. That's dedication. It's sadistic, but, you know, it is a game called Hitman. Culprit assassins just pale when he's kicking the buckets of madmen <laughs> and magnates, the sick and corrupt. There's a shake in the shadows of... 
just the way people get knocked out and him getting knocked out by the other him and uh, it's so good. And, and the chilling who done it is a great level too. That's the second mission in in Hitman Three. It's the Dartmoor mission, and it's it's kind of it's very knives out because it's a murder mystery, but it's also an assassination target. So like depending on what you do in the game, you can end up solving the mystery in the level as well as committing your own murder in it. It's it's quality stuff. That's probably a lot of people's favorite mission in this game. Uh, and it, it's it's a lot of fun. I've played that mission a bunch of times doing different scenarios and stuff. That's that's the great thing about the Hitman games, the current Hitman games, is there's so many different multiple ways to play them. There's no pinning the culprit assassin to pale when he's kicking the bucket. Kicking the buckets. The and magnates, the sick and corrupt. There's a shake within the shadows, there's a chill up in the air. No, your status doesn't matter, empty wheel billionaire in a dinosaur, a man and man with killers that you care. If you're penciled in his planner, chances he's already there. Perhaps that new buffalo who walked past your henchman and brandished that tumbler of port. No one questioned. So hand in the number, report into heaven. Those passes went punch while they're all 47. No one ever seems to notice in the game that the drink you were just standing near that they're about to drink is now smoking because you pour poison in it. You would think you'd notice the green waft off of it that you can clearly see, but they're not, oh no, drinks do that. That's a normal thing that everyone notices. Or this dumpling dish that you brought them is suddenly smoking with... with fumes of poison and they're going to go wretch in the bathroom and you're going to either drown them or knock them out and take their clothes. There's so many naked people dumped in laundry baskets and lockers and stuff in these games. <laughs> that's that's the thing. I, 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 I want somebody to play through the level and knock out everybody in the level and then hide everybody too. Because I you, there are less places to hide people than there are people in the levels. Some of them you're going to end up accidentally killing because you're going to push them off into water or something, and because they're knocked out, they're going to drown. Or it's from a height. These are the weird things that occupy my brain. Yeah, it's sad, I know. Anyway, we're moving on. I do love that level so much. Listen, thanks for all the warnings. My security's been beefed up several times since nine this morning. Checkpoints at every corner. Lasers and ventilations. I've got bodyguards for bodyguards. No way he'll penetrate when every unit on my team supreme completely redeemed in worthiness, which means I'm impervious to the schemes of mercenary services. Woo. My servants are subservient. Don't move unless I say so. Can't refuse my influence. Half your crew is on my payroll. <laughs> Half your crew is on my payroll. That's awesome. Nem posted a picture of him from this... Uh, video on Twitter and he said uh, hey MCU you need somebody else to play somebody new to play Kingpin and I was like yeah that's that's definitely got some Kingpin vibes so he's he's playing a uh, I, I guess an assassination target that's like uh, some, somebody powerful I, is he playing the constant he might be playing the constant but the pin is a little different uh, which is somebody who kind of oversees a lot of the inner workings of another organization that's trying to the plot of the actual games is very intricate, and uh, it, it may not seem like it because like, it seems like a lot of random just kill this person missions, but the person that you're killing is kind of involved in the overarching plot of the three games, what they call the World of Assassination Trilogy. Uh, so, And there's like this one person named The Constant that you, that you capture that actually gets away from you. That, it's a whole thing. Play the games. They're really great. But uh, I'm digging Nem's verse here. It's really... A lot, of, a lot of really great bars. We're going to rewind it a little bit here. When every unit on my team is supreme. Supreme, completely redeemed in worthiness, which means I'm impervious to the schemes of mercenary services. My servants are subservient. Don't move unless I say so. To uh, impervious to mercenary services. Well, this he's not a mercenary. He's a hired, trained assassin. That's a little different. So, yes, you may not have mercenaries come through to get you because you've got trained soldiers protecting you, but he slips in in the shadows. 
that's that's a little different. You're still gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why that noise was what came out of my face. Sure. Bodyguards, no way he'll penetrate when every unit on my team supreme completely redeemed in worthiness, which means I'm impervious to the schemes of mercenary services. My servants are subservient. Don't move unless I say so. Can't refuse my influence. Half your crew is on my payroll. For yeah, it, it you know, his servants are subservient, meaning they're all loyal to him, too. So you can't sway them to work for you. 47 doesn't do that. He knocks them out and throws their clothes. He pretends to be them. There's... Don't hire bold people. That's basically the only way you can stop 47 from getting on your crew, because he's a bold guy, and he's going to look like the other bold guy that he just knocked out and took the clothes off. That's not entirely true. There are people that he... that have hair... That he knocks out and suddenly the person that someone was talking to is now bald and has a deeper, more menacing voice and they don't notice. That's, that's kind of one of the few things in the game that I kind of don't like. Like, here's here's Mr. Pritchard, who's going to get an ICA tour, a tour of the ICA facility, but he's missing a paperwork. So you go knock him out and you've got the paperwork now and you go meet the person that you had previously been talking to Mr. Pritchard, but now you don't have hair because Mr. Pritchard had hair and you posing as him don't, you don't put a wig on, everything's fine. You're clearly Mr. Pritchard. You're wearing his clothes, even though your face and voice and lack of hair are different. Am I rambling too much about that? Who cares? I pause a lot, yeah, because we're talking about things and important stuff in the game and the video. I'll move on. 47 better lay low or he might get 86. Let's put a bounty on his head. That crash assassin makes me sick. If the smart code is a scan, we just need to price check him. Blood spilling on my designer tiles. Clean up on aisle 7. <laughs> Clean up on aisle 7. That's good. I scan the barcode. Those are some, some quality, quality uh, lines he's got through there. 47 ba better lay low or he's going to be 86. It's a good ver flip on his name. That's good. I like that. Uh saying he's not afraid of what 47 is going to bring. He doesn't like the assassin. I dig it. Hey, low, or he might get 86. Let's put a bounty on his head. That crass assassin makes me sick. It's crass smart, assassin. Good. We just need to price check him. Blood spilling on my designer tiles. Clean up on aisle seven. That's, that's, that's the thing I wanted to say. I kind of forgot it as I, as I paused. The barcode on his head doesn't scan. We need to price check him. Uh, having that lead into the clean up on aisle seven. Just uh, barcode bars. Jokes about about the barcode on his on his head. That's great. That's a uh, that's a good that's a good punchline. That lay low or he might get 86. Let's put a bounty on his head. That crash assassin makes me sick. If his barcode is a scan, we just need to price check him. Blood spilling on my designer tiles. Clean up on aisle seven. Look, I'm not afraid of the ICA. I'm like a thousand floors up. They'll never find me. Wait. Is that a person <laughs> lurking in the curtains? Nah, it's gotta be the bourbon, cause I'm certain my observers would have heard him that yeah. would've been quite defeat for him to sneak past. Oh my god, it is him. I need to think fast. <laughs> Guards, someone stop this vigilante. Please, I have a family. Is this the end? No, it can't. Your plan was bad and then you're running the show. But your plan is destined for coming to blows. Ooh, your clan is destined. Cause he's talking about clandestine and then your clan is destined. Ah, it's another great flip. But yeah, we, I, I kind of saw that coming, where uh, he's the target, and wait, no, I've, I've got all of this, I'm, you know, he's, he's, he's boasting, he's getting a little braggadocious about, you know, all his mercy, all his, his support team, and they can't be swayed, and you can't get past them, they're vigilant, they're on my side, they're loyal to me, they're highly trained, 47 can't get past them, oh crap, he's got past them, uh, Guys, help me out. I was depending on you. There's no way I'm going to get killed. Instantly killed. Uh, it's like that in the game. And that's that's a great perspective. I had actually pitched uh, to Stupendium uh, about doing a song about this. I wanted to, to be on, on this song because uh, I wanted to play Mr. Gray, who's a, another character in the games. Uh, but he had already talked to them about this. Uh, that's... that's that's good. I, uh, you know, I like this angle for it. I'm not going to be mad about it because, also, who am I? You know, I do do my own music. You can check it out on the channel. I'm just saying. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm not bitter. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not upset about anything like that. <laughs> I, I, you know, I just, 
I dig this verse on it. I dig this perspective for it. I dig this whole song. It's great. Stop this vigilante. Please, I have a family. Is this the end? No, it can't. Your plan was clandestinely <laughs> running the show. Clandestinely like running the show. Plan is destined. So good. While casually dressed in their underlings' clothes. Because the disguises. That's the one thing you don't get enough of in the Hitman movies based on the games. They don't... They did wear a disguise once. And most of the game is changing outfits. <laughs> See the smoking in your opulence, you built your own sarcophagus. Now that's what I call providence. So till your hour, charm your heart is providence. That's the name of the thing that the continent works for. I couldn't remember it. Every, like all the, the smoking food, the smoking ketchup bottle, the hot dog is now smoking because it used the ketchup on it. And instead of dying from that, he has a uh, uh, scaffolding fall on him. That's, that's quality stuff. I'm digging it. I also, I love the apron stand back. 45 is cooking. That's good stuff. Topping you for thinking that you're living with that consequence. Rip around the populace while sitting in your <laughs> opulence. You built your own sarcophagus. Now that's what I call providence. So till your hour, charm your heart inside your ivory monuments. Build your child too hard, I'll be surprised when there's no oxygen. Better that's a Dubai level. There's a price behind predominance of 47s on the tag. You'll find a bunch of shopping lists. That's so good. I just saw Bone Cage, and when I paused it, there's my dumb face. <laughs> I see Shlobati, I see... Yeah, there's Bone Cage right, right over his shoulder. A uh, couple faces I don't recognize. Uh, I think that's... Yeah, there's Rustage. They've got their names coming up. Uh, yeah, there's Bone Cage. There, it, I paused it when he's half spelling out my name, so it just says insane I. Dan Bowl is next to me. I, I, I thought that was Dan. Uh, there's a... Is it pronounced Fable, but it's spelled Favel? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. A couple nerdcore people, a couple of uh, faces I don't recognize. But, yeah. My dumb face from my Dig Dug video is in the video as one of his assassined targets. That's kind of cool. It it would have been really nice to not have been looking out for it, though, because several people spoiled this in the comments of my last video before I had a chance to watch this. Don't do not do that, please. I, I would, would have liked to have found that on my own. Instead, now I was watching out for it. Still cool! Still exciting, but but a little of the shine was a little well, was a little removed from it. Not gonna lie, it's it's not cool. This is cool though. Let's let's take that back a little bit because it's good stuff. Because I immediately saw Bone Cage over your shoulder and I'm like, ah, oh, this must be it. Yeah. All, all resolved. All dead. I've been killed by Stupendium 47. Thanks for watching. Good stuff. And a huge thanks to my incredible patrons for making this video possible, as well as to the fantastic Nemraps for joining me on the track. Oh look, there's my name on the uh, Patreon too. 
And actually, I saw somebody's name on uh, this Patreon that's on my Patreon. So thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I, I feel honored to have been killed by Stupendium 47. And uh, also, that song was great. Again, not as comedic as you can be in the game, but still kind of a serious regular playthrough. I dig it. But now we're going to move on to the next video. We've already gone really long on this video because I've been rambling. Sorry. It's what happens. It's a reaction. If you want to see the video without me rambling, link is in the description. If you enjoyed the song, then please do check out the playlist for more of them. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and assassinate that bell. <laughs> and if you really enjoyed it, then you can always check out the Patreon or the merch store. Yes. Was, was that a coin? <laughs> <laughs> One of the distractions of the game is you toss a coin. It's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he threw in the sound of the little ding you get when you've assassinated your target. When you've assassinated your target, not when you've an an assassin. Words. It's the sound when you assassinate your target. The little dink that came up. Here's the coin. You knocked him out or killed him. It's a nice little touch is what I'm saying. Let's move on. Stupid deal. Now to the actual version that I should have seen. Not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. No kidding! It's Doki Doki. Oh, that is a definite tonal shift from the one I saw before. This is so light and jumpy instead of a, a sweeping epic melody. Alright, I'm down. I dig it. I, I love the stupendium as the uh, protagonist character. As soon as he says, swear I won't leave them hanging, and then Sayori, gl Sayori glitches, it's so good. It's so subtle. And uh, it's something you only pick up if you actually know the game. Uh, if you want to see how much I know the game and what I was talking about with some of these lyrics before, check out the previous video where I, I reacted to the orchestral mix. I'm told there's changes in this video and uh, some of the lyrics are different in this version. That's why I'm reacting to it again, because usually I try to keep it to a first impression. But uh, some slight differences abound in this one, supposedly. Yay! I do love that rhymes, too. I love that switch up, too. That's bad. No, no kidding. They look so sad and lonely. I sold my soul for poetry. This hell is members only. Why did I say okie dokie? So great. Ah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Okay. It doing what the game does, like actually physically rewinding, and the flashes of what happens to Sayori in the game. Oh, that is choice. That is that is some quality stuff there. Okay, okay, I get it now. Yeah, I should have watched this one first. I'm sorry. Blame the algorithm. That's what I do. That's the way. That's the only one it showed me. That's why I chose that one because that's the one that came up for me. It's fine. We're here now. Oh, oh. 
Oh, so you already just gone. <laughs> All cats. Random flashes of knives and blood. Sorry, Yuri. I'm sorry. Just... Ooh. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. That 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 run over of what of Sayori just like the the file deletion of it in the lyric just oh that was so good because he mentions her in the previous pre-chorus and it just gets washed over here and then what's happening with uh, uh, Natsuki uh, with what happens with her eyes and mouth and the way the game glitches on her just. Oh, this is quality. I mean, that's the thing about, about the Stupendium videos. Is I don't say that enough about the production quality of this is a reaction to the music videos, not just the songs and, and the amount of effort and time and that everything that he puts into the music videos just elevates everything that he's saying in the songs. Uh, that, that's always the, the, the high quality point that I see in these that I don't remark on it anymore because it's just consistent across all his songs so sorry for not bringing that up every time but yeah if you know you know so good I wonder where Sayori is. I guess it's just the four of us. <laughs> Oops, no, no, three, because there's Yuri stabbing herself several times. And also, and, and Natsuki puking on herself, oh man, took some of the best frames from that game. Uh, also, the music in this song kind of emulates the weird background music in the game, too, because it is kind of like light and happy and kind of melodic and then as the weird shit happens it kind of goes little little plinky little more off key little more weird in the background just kind of plunking along and missing the notes and yeah just having that emulated as, as being the beat for the song so so quality i can see why this is one of his most popular songs uh yeah good stuff <laughs> Just the four of us <laughs> We can make it in well, we it's, it's three now because you always go Just the four of us No escaping oh, if I try Though these maidens may seem kind There's something going on behind They look so sad and lonely Oh dear Big mouth on Monica This hell is members only Why did I say okie dokie Yeah the panic and the rewind. I, I love the flip to just the two of us. Just, uh, Monica. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. When there were the girls here? No. Oh, God. So, yeah, in the game, the game kind of is talking to the player. Not the player character, but the actual player of the game. Uh, and, and that's not reflected in the orchestral mix that I reacted to. That is definitely coming through to Stupendium in this version of the song, emulating the way the game does it. Oh, that's so good. I The, the fake mouth is disturbing. That's not in the game. But uh, he put that in the video, and that that's definitely worthy of the disturbing imagery warning at the beginning of the song that doesn't match... Uh, my phone is blowing up. Holy crap. Uh, what the heck was all that? It's like 12 different things happening. Okay. Nothing, nothing terrible. All right. Nothing's on fire. We can continue. 
Uh, yeah, no, just the all of the Monica instances and then coming through to talk to him. It's quality stuff. Bravo. And also just that mouth is worry. Wait a second. When the other girls here. No. <laughs> Monica, loop and cookie. Monica, sweet and cute. Monica, deep and brood. I love that they, the Monica's at the beginning of each of those lines is cut from the line where he says Monica's brains and beauty and it's cut and replacing over the previous girl's name. So it's Monica going into it and literally cutting it out of the later part of the song and putting it in earlier so that he's only talking about her because he's in the same lines that he said about Yuri and Natsuki and Sayori, but he's re she's replaced their names with hers in the song. It's If you listen to it, it is literally cut from that later part in the line and pushed into over theirs. That's good. That's really good. Wait a second. When the other girls say No. Monica, loop and cute. Yeah. Monica, sweet really and cute. Monica, deep and broody. Monica, brains and beauty. Monica, sees right through me. Monica, all that you need. All that weird text. All that you need. Coming past the text. All that you need. Ha. I'm not an ugly guy, but I can understand why she'd be oh, so Oh, that's a nice flip. Monica's obsession is ah. honest, to be honest, omnipotent goddess, concocting demonic sonnets. I could delete her, <laughs> but I never could harmonica. So I'm trapped here forever, was my harmonica. Harmonica, harmonica. Good stuff. Out of this world. <laughs> He's morphed into the game. So good. It's peppy, but scared. Oh, all of them being replaced by her. Oh. Say okay. Ah, the music comes back. Ah, the game music right there at the end. That's so good. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that song, then why not Monica to the channel for more songs about Monica, Monica, and just Monica. And <laughs> you do, be sure to ring that Monica. In the meantime, smash that Monica button and good Monica. Smash that Monica button and good Monica. Oh, all right. Well, that was definitely worth going back to. Because there's so much more in the visuals on this that add to the song and add to just the weirdness of that game. Uh, yeah, that's quality stuff. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you like this, of course, please, as I said, like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you really want to help me make more of these videos and my own songs, check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian. This was great. I'm really glad to have done this. Uh, hope you guys have a good week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Between the murder and, and the AI becoming sentient, I might stay off video games for a little bit. At least, at least a week. Yeah. Delivering all these photos of Pete, just so I can bring you what you can eat. When you see me zooming down your street, you know I'm delivering something savory or sweet. Order up all the food you enjoy, with long subs or a tub of hot joy. Bringing it to you, if you're in Illinois, it's my job. I'm a delivery boy! For your order, I'm a Jedi.